Hey guys, Tyler Day here. Today we're going to be talking all about campaign budget optimization. We're going to be talking about how we use CBO campaigns not only to test ads on Facebook, but to also scale very effectively. I'll see you in the video. So today we're going to be talking about just some technical training regarding Facebook ads. So a lot of people have questions about what is CBO, okay? So CBO is basically a new Facebook setting that is being rolled out. It's been, it's been getting rolled out for the past like year or so. Um, but basically it's a way to structure your ads. So let's talk about the way things work now. So the way things work right now on Facebook is that the campaigns have been using, um, let me get this right. So trying to see. So they've been using something called ABO, which means ad set budgets. Okay. ABO basically means that for whatever ad that you're running, you're setting the budget for this on the campaign level. So there's three different levels to Facebook. So there's the campaign, there is the ad set, there's the ad level. So the ad level is where you actually load up your images and the videos. The ad set level is where you pick your, um, traditionally you pick your budget, targeting and your placement in the campaign generally before was you know basically just um you know what what the objective was like if you wanted to go for traffic if you wanted to go for conversions okay so this is basically how things have traditionally worked um right with the budget for the ad being set on the ad set, right? But basically there's a change going on with Facebook. So instead of the budgets being used on the ad set level, like they are right now, essentially, instead of setting a budget on the ad set level, you're now setting a budget on the campaign level. Okay. So essentially what this means is that whereas before you might have four or five different image or video creatives in an ad set and an ad set would generally rotate those images and videos and they would start to push budget towards whatever the best image or video was within the ad set. But now instead of that, Facebook is now rotating these different ad sets and pushing the budget towards whatever the best ad set is. Um, so essentially all this means is that there's a little bit of a difference now, as far as how we structure these campaigns, because now that the budget is set on a campaign level, we're not giving each ad set individual budgets, which means that this kind of changes the structure a little bit of how we do things. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to walk you through basically a, uh, campaign structure for how to test ads with the CBO setup and also how to scale these ads, okay? So for testing ads with a CBO budget, let me get this right here. Yeah. Okay, so for testing ads in a CBO budget, generally it's best to use between three to five ad sets within a CBO. And within each ad set, you may have three or four different image creatives. Okay, so we can see here that one CBO campaign for testing should have three to five ad sets and three to four creatives within each ad set. 
And essentially what you're doing then is you're just letting these campaigns spend money. And for the testing budget, I would probably suggest putting about $100 a day budget on the campaign for testing. Basically what Facebook is gonna start to do is it's gonna start to rotate these different ad sets and it's gonna start to allocate budget towards whichever ad set is getting the best results. So this is basically a really effective way to test. And after every ad set has gotten about 6,000 impressions, you can start to make decisions on which ones to keep and which ones to kill. So after, the, after each ad set has gotten 6,000, I would suggest basically killing off anything that wasn't performing well. Once you do find something that performs well, um, basically what we do is we have a little bit of a different campaign structure for scaling. So let's go over here. So for scaling, basically what we do is we take whatever our best ad set was from the testing campaign and we single it out in its own CBO campaign. And you know, while a testing campaign, it might only have a hundred dollar a day budget, um, you know, a scaling campaign might actually have a much, much higher budget, like $500 a day, um, something like that, right? And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to take whatever the best ad set was that we found in our testing campaign, and we're going to actually duplicate this five times across the scaling campaign, okay? So what, what that means is that basically whatever this best ad set was, let's say that you're targeting, for example, like men who are between the age of 20 to 40 that, you know, converted on a specific image or ad copy, you know, take that whatever that top winning thing was and put it in its own CBO campaign with five exact copies of that ad set within the CBO. Put about a $500 a day budget on the campaign level and let it run for about three days. Um, you know, from there, what you can do is you can kill off any of those duplicates that are not converting within the CBO campaign and just leave anything that is running. So this is a really effective way to basically test these campaigns and start to scale them up in their own little campaigns. OK, so this is a really powerful strategy. Um, we've been using this now in house for about six months, and it's really been knocking it out of the park on our campaigns. So. Give me a, give me a, you know, go ahead and try this out. Let me know what you think. Um, if you have more questions about this, you know, comment below. Give me a like and give me a comment on the video regardless, just to show YouTube that it's a good channel. And, you know, other than that, guys, um, hope this is helpful for you and have fun testing.